The first area that you need to master is the area of psychology and mindset. You need to understand who you are and why you do the things that you do. Because who sometimes looks at themselves and looks at the things that you need to do that you don't do and you go, why the f don't I do this? Has anyone ever asked themselves that question? And it might sound a little bit scary, okay, but it's actually really enlightening to actually learn who you are and get to know yourself and understand why you do the things that you do. But you've also got to understand how we shape ourselves and how we shape our psychology to produce different behaviours. Because if you focus on changing your behaviours, whatever you do will be short-lived. But if you can change the way your brain works, if you can change the way your psychology operates, your behaviours will naturally change. Because mindset and psychology, that's one aspect of you. But where else do you apply mindset and psychology in business? Sales is all about the understanding and the elicitation of motivation. What are the motives of the people that you're speaking to? And do your products and do your services align with what it is that you're offering? Who has ever had a situation before where you've had someone in your business and you knew they needed what you had, but you didn't have the gob, you didn't have the chops, you didn't have the ability to communicate in a way that made them realize that they fucking needed it and they walked out and you're like, fuck, I could have helped that person, but I just didn't know how to communicate in a way that would have made them see that. Who's had that situation before? That's fucking psychology. I'm talking about how do you have high level conversations where the messages actually land? Where else does psychology apply to in business? One of the biggest reasons people don't want to scale is because of the leadership that's required. Because you will have people that will be looking up to you. But most importantly, you'll have people that are gonna require you to be able to give them specific information and communicate to them in a way that inspires them to go above and beyond what would be considered to be average work. People do average work for average players. And if you want people to perform at a high level, you have to be a high performer, okay? Leadership is all about understanding human psychology. How is it that a military operator can be literally in the middle of a firefight, walking around inside a compound, have bullets zinging past his head, inches away cracking, mortars going off, and he can maintain a heart rate below 80 beats per minute and be as clear as a bell, and be able to make calls and make decisions with absolute clarity as if he was sitting on his armchair at home? How is it that elite professional sports people can be standing on the field, about to be kicking a field goal in front of 120,000 people live, with two billion people zooming in from around the world, yet you look at them and it's as if they're standing in the park kicking the footy with their son. This is the difference between a high performer and an average performer. A high performer, a specialist, is someone that when all the shit is falling apart, that's when they get good. Does this make sense? Do you know what it ultimately comes down to? It's all about psychology.